What's up everyone and welcome. Today we are taking a look at the Canis Lupus playing cards by Card Mechanic. Let's get into it. Okay, so starting off with a bit of info here, this deck was produced by Vinny, also known as Card Mechanic. And if you don't know, he does have his own YouTube channel where he posts his uh, card trick tutorials as well as deck reviews quite often there. So make sure you check out his channel, subscribe to him. I'll leave the link down below in the description box. So with that said, let's get straight into the review. So the front of the deck is kept rather simple here. We have the base purple color along with the main logo of the deck, I would say, which is the wolf shaped as a chess piece. And this is used a couple more times throughout the deck and the tuck. And we'll get into that in a bit. Right here on the side, it says the strength of the wolf is the pack. The other side, it says the strength of the pack is the wolf. Towards the bottom, we add some ad copy. Canis Lupus Alpha Edition, which means we will see uh, different editions in the upcoming future, which I'm excited for. And then it says produced by Vinny Sipaha, I think that is how you pronounce it. And then manufactured by the United States Playing Card Company. Right here at the top, we just have a amethyst gemstone, which goes along with the theme. Right here in the back, we just have the back design of the cards, and we will get to that here in a bit. If we open the flap, we have some uh, writing here. It says the wolf does not concern itself with the opinion of the sheep. So here's a quick look at the back design of the playing cards. We have two of the wolf chest pieces, which by the way, very well designed. I like how they look. Uh, like I said, two of them slightly tilted, which makes for a two-way design here, along with the nice dark purple base color. And then we have the nice thin white border, which makes for a great fan. As you guys can see, a bit of that purple color peeking through. So that would do it for the back design of the cards, keeping it very simple, but I'm a huge fan of the design. Now getting into the face is probably my favorite part of the entire deck. We have a recolor. So the black cards stay the standard black color. And then the red cards are swapped out for the nice uh, dark purple color that is found in the back design as well as the tuck case. And then right here you can see the hearts, same dark purple color, which I'm a huge fan of. Now here's a look at the recolor on the court cards. So we have the same dark purple color that you find on the back design of the cards and the tuck case. And for the hair, and some of their clothing as well as this object that the court card is holding uh, we have this almost like a tan color but it has a very minimal purple tint to it i don't know how else to describe it there's a look but i also do believe he did say that the purple color in general did come out a little more darker than he would have liked it to and i do definitely do have to agree because the contrast between the black and the purple is very hard to see just because of how dark the purple is I don't know if you could capture that, the camera could capture that there, but there it is. But overall, I do like the court cards because purple is not a very uh, common color that you see used in any deck. And then for the special court, we have the king of spades here, which is Vanit himself. And it, I gotta say, it looks just like him. Very well designed there. I did also look for a card reveal on the court cards, but uh, nowhere to be seen. But we do see a card reveal somewhere else in the deck, and I'll get to that here in a bit. So the aces are kept pretty standard, at least for the ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, and the ace of hearts. We just have the dark purple recolor for the diamonds and the hearts. And then for the custom ace of spades here, we have the wolf shaped as the chess piece logo right in the center. And then we have Canis Lupus Alpha Edition here towards the bottom, the name of the deck. That will do it for the aces. So I want to take a quick look at the Jokers. I just really like these. Probably have to be my favorite Jokers at the moment. I just really enjoy the way Vinit went about doing the Jokers. They're almost identical. We'll get to that in a bit here. So for the back design, obviously we have the Wolf chest piece. But this is basically a realistic version of the Wolf chest piece. Obviously slapped right in the center and towards the bottom we have Joker done in the same purple coloring. I like the style of the Wolf a lot. It's like a nice realistic version. You can see the detail like the fur of the wolf. It just looks great in my opinion. And then here at the bottom we have a letter V engraved into the statue, which I could only assume it stands for his name Vanit. And then like I did say, they're almost identical because this one here, it has a two of spades reveal right there at the edge. Don't know if you can see that. It's very, very small. I would have, I would have liked it to be a little more bigger, a little, a little more easier to see. But uh, overall, it's a reveal and I cannot complain. And I will be using that definitely for some cool card tricks, but definitely have to be some of my favorite jokers. He just did a great job on designing these. With this deck, you will also receive an add card and a extra card. The extra card is a king of diamonds. This is the normal one. The extra one has a different subtle detail here. So in the palms, he is holding an amethyst gemstone. I don't know if you guys can see that there. And then right here, obviously, he's holding nothing because that is just a normal one. I like that little detail just to change it up a bit. And then here we have the ad card. It says Canis Lupus Alpha Edition. 
and then we have a little quote here i'll read it to you an alpha wolf can be violent and assertive when the situation calls for it but for the most part it leads with strength metal and heart and then in the background a nice little detail here we have a almost like a shadowing of the logo the wolf chest piece here at the bottom I'm covering the QR code and it set, it basically takes you to a video right now and I did hear he will be doing something special with it so if you do have this deck definitely be kind of keeping up with it scanning it because right now it does take you to a video but then eventually he'll be changing up and doing something special with it so I'm excited to see what he does decide to do with that okay so I think I went over everything on this deck design wise now let's tell you what stock it's printed on so it's printed obviously by the USPCC on their premium bicycle stock and as you guys can see it fans great it feels great in the hands i'm a huge fan of it lately i've been using a lot of crush decks and it's nice to go and try a different one and this one does not disappoint one bit and the best part of all it's going to last you much more longer than your crush stock just because it's slightly more thicker than the crush stock but you basically could do anything as you guys can see it springs super easily and i like it a lot so a thumbs up for me on the stock all right, everyone, so I think that will do it for today's review on the Canis Lupus Playing Cards by Card Mechanic Alpha Edition. I'm a huge fan of this deck from design to the faces to the stock. I just really, really like it. And for it being his first deck of cards, he did an amazing job. And if you do want to purchase a deck of these, I'll leave a store link down below. Go ahead and check it out and see what he has to offer. I highly recommend these if you're a magician or a cardist. And if you can purchase a deck of cards and you still want to support Card Mechanic and what he does, check out his YouTube channel. I'll also leave the link down below. Go ahead and subscribe to him. He posts amazing content on a weekly basis, card tutorials and deck reviews, all that good stuff. And that will do it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in my next one. Peace out.